In a world where petrol engines were thought to be on the brink of extinction, Porsche has thrown a curveball that's sending shockwaves through the automotive industry. Their groundbreaking technology promises to save the classic petrol engine from fading away. In this comprehensive exploration, we'll dive into what makes Porsche's innovative e-fuel technology so buzzworthy and how it might change the future of petrol engines. The European Union, along with several other countries, aims to be carbon neutral by 2050. Achieving this ambitious goal means reducing or eliminating sources of carbon emissions. One of their key strategies is banning the sale of new diesel and gasoline cars by 2035. That's right, no more internal combustion engines on the market. But why this specific deadline? The reason is that the average car lasts about 15 years. So to have a completely carbon neutral fleet by 2050, sales of petrol and diesel cars must cease by 2035. It's a significant step toward a cleaner, greener future, but it's not without controversy. Car manufacturers, often perceived as conservative and risk-averse, are grappling with this ambitious ban. They question whether electric vehicles can truly replace gasoline and diesel cars by 2035. Porsche, known for its iconic petrol-powered sports cars, has taken a different route to meet the carbon-neutral challenge. They're investing heavily in e-fuel technology. But what is e-fuel, and why is it generating so much excitement in the automotive world? E-fuel, or synthetic fuel, is a man-made alternative to traditional gasoline and diesel. Unlike traditional fossil fuels, e-fuel production has a minimal environmental impact, reducing emissions that harm our health and the planet. Traditional gasoline and diesel are made from organic material known as hydrocarbons, extracted from deep underground through drilling and process in refineries. The production and use of these fossil fuels have significant environmental impacts, contributing substantially to air pollution and fine, particulate matter, 2.5 in the air. On the other hand, synthetic fuels are not mined from the earth, but are entirely man-made. Their history goes back to 1913, when they were first invented and patented by German chemist Friedrich Karl Rudolf Burgess. However, the process of extracting the fuel was far from perfect. It wasn't until 1920 that Franz Fischer and Hans Trotsch developed a technology known as fischer trops synthesis, FT synthesis, which was adopted significantly during World War II and has undergone several advancements in fine-tuning thanks to companies like Porsche. Today we have a newer, more advanced version of synthetic fuels called e-fuels. What makes e-fuels so important is its ability to turn any vehicle with an internal combustion engine into a carbon-neutral machine. Yes, you heard that right. E-fuel can help reduce our carbon footprint and make our transportation more sustainable. Porsche's commitment to e-fuel technology is rooted in their heritage as a luxury car manufacturer, with a strong focus on petrol-powered sports cars. Interestingly, 70% of Porsche's iconic 911s ever built are still on the road today. That's more than 700,000 911s alone. This longevity underscores the importance of offering a sustainable solution to keep these classic petrol engines running while addressing environmental concerns. Porsche has so far invested $100 million into the development of synthetic fuels, with three quarters of that funding going to HIF Global, a cutting-edge research company specializing in this innovative technology. But Porsche's commitment doesn't stop at funding research. HIF Global went on to build a state-of-the-art prototype factory called Haru Ani near the breathtaking Torres del Paine National Park in Chile. The choice of such a scenic location is not just about aesthetics. It turns out that this region is among the windiest places on Earth, with an estimated 6,000 hours per year of good quality wind. In fact, the wind blows at a constant rate and direction for most of the year, making it the perfect location to produce synthetic fuels. The process of creating synthetic fuels starts with hydrogen generated from water through a process called electrolysis. This may sound like something out of a high school science project, but it's actually a fairly straightforward process. In electrolysis, water is zapped with electricity to split the hydrogen and oxygen molecules. The captured hydrogen is then compressed with captured carbon from the air, and it becomes ready to power fuel cell vehicles like the Toyota Mirai. Porsche's journey into e-fuel technology began in earnest in 2020, when they marked their commitment with a 20 million euro investment in a collaborative project with Siemens Energy. This collaboration led to the creation of the Haru Ani plant, which represents a significant step in the development and production of synthetic fuels. Unlike some alternative fuels, Porsche's synthetic fuel 
doesn't require any changes to your vehicle's pumps, hoses, or gaskets. It even has the same sweet acerbic scent that we've come to associate with high-quality gasoline. While it's true that e-fuel, just like traditional gasoline, emits carbon dioxide when it's burned, the carbon used in the production of e-fuel at the Haru Aini plant will be captured from the air. This creates a sustainable cycle that's more environmentally friendly than traditional fuel production. To understand the significance of e-fuel, it's crucial to look at the bigger picture of energy and emissions. Burning coal for electricity, for example, remains a significant source of carbon emissions. Even though coal makes up less than a quarter of the electricity we use in the United States in 2021, it was responsible for almost 60% of the sector's carbon dioxide emissions. Among different types of coal, anthracite is the worst offender, releasing the most carbon dioxide. Furthermore, refining petroleum into fuel also has a hefty carbon footprint. A report from the U.S. Department of Energy found that the process of refining petroleum on-site uses a substantial amount of energy and releases a whopping 211 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. This highlights the environmental impact of traditional gasoline and diesel production. Porsche's innovative e-fuel technology is shaking up the automotive industry and promising to keep the petrol engine's legacy alive. While the world moves toward electric vehicles, e-fuel offers a sustainable alternative that could extend the lifespan of our beloved petrol engines. This exploration of Porsche's e-fuel journey highlights the significance of innovation and sustainability in the automotive industry. As governments and automakers push for cleaner and more environmentally friendly transportation solutions, Porsche's commitment to synthetic fuels provides a promising alternative. With governments and automakers worldwide pushing for cleaner and more environmentally friendly transportation solutions, Porsche's dedication to synthetic fuels opens up exciting possibilities. It's a beacon of hope for those who cherish the roar of a petrol engine but also care deeply about the planet's health. This development is a remarkable example of how innovation can redefine industries and lead the way towards a more sustainable and eco-friendly future. Porsche's e-fuel journey represents a step towards a more sustainable and environmentally friendly future for our beloved automobiles, while also preserving the legacy of the classic petrol engine. It's a testament to the power of innovation and commitment to sustainability in the automotive industry, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach carbon emissions in the transportation sector. What do you think about this game-changing development? Let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.